Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this specific video tutorial, we are going to talk about data movement in 8086 microprocessor. And specifically, uh, we will talk about if memory, uh, if data is stored in the memory, or one can say that data segment, because we know that in 8086 microprocessor, memory is divided into various segments. So since we are dealing with data, so we are dealing with data segment in the specific memory. So if data is present in data segment and we want to call it into internal register of 8086 microprocessor. Uh, we have already uh, posted a video tutorial in which we have uh, shown the people or shown the audience how one can actually store the information into data segment. Uh, so I'm going to uh, assume that you know, have an idea that the, that information, that information uh, uh, is present there and how you can actually put that information into data segment. So let's assume this is a memory and this is basically data segment. So if I'm going to uh, have, uh, there is already certain available information. For example, it is four or five hacks. And let's say on this is, uh, value, we have two F hacks, right? So these two values are already present in memory. Uh, these are the two locations from the data memory segment. So the 44 five hacks is stored on 0300 hacks and two F hacks is stored on 0301 hacks. Remember this is the one megabyte memory and each uh, memory slot or each memory bank can actually store uh, eight bit of information. So four, five and two F, both of them are basically what? Eight bit information. And furthermore, uh, the physical address of each slot is around 20 bit wide. So you can see that uh, there are five, zero, three, zero, zero, zero. So there are three, five uh, hexadecimal symbols it's stored in uh, address bus or used in address of uh, each slot, right? So now we want to call that uh, those data into internal memory. Uh, furthermore, uh, there is a concept which we will utilize uh, because 8086 microprocessors is a 16-bit processor and we know that we are using 16-bit processor to access 20-bit information. And that concept we have already explained very well in our playlist of instruction set and specifically of 8086 microprocessor. So I hope that you guys know already this concept. So uh, uh, using that concept, we know that this complete address cannot be stored in any internal register. Rather, we have to use two different register. And one of them is called data segment register, data segment register, right? And furthermore, uh, the another register which will be offset and since memory is going to be source in this operation because we are moving data from uh, from the memory to internal register that means this memory will serve as a source so this memory will be uh, serving as a source operand so for that purpose uh, we have a register available called source operand or source index right so source index we will utilize so uh, to hold this physical address what address i'm talking about zero three triple zero to hold this address we need to have certain specific values of these registers so what are those values i'm going to write it directly uh, assuming that you know that already concept of physical and logical addressing in 8086 microprocessor so zero three hundred will be the value of uh, a data segment register and si value will be zero zero hex uh, again uh, this is a logical address. Remember, in logical address, we will use a, a segment based address and an offset address. So segment based address will be stored in data segment register 0300. It is, it is a 16-bit register and it is a 16-bit value 0300. So there are four hexadecimal symbols. So it's a 16-bit value. Similarly, these uh, four zeros, that means again, 16 bit value and the, they will be storing in uh, SI or source index, right? If I'm going to convert it into physical address is quite easy. What I'm supposed to do, the segment base address will be multiplied with one zero hacks plus the offset part, right? So if I'm going to use the same formula, what is going to happen? Segment base address is a data segment, right? Static time one zero, that means we are going to multiply it with 10 plus SI. So if we know the above, if we use above values, that means 0, 0300 multiply by 10 hacks plus 0, 0 hacks. So it will eventually equals to what? It will be equals to 0, 03 
triple zero hacks, which is this physical address, this address. So this is how these two registers, uh, data segment register and source index register will be using two 16 bit values to individual 16 bit values. And they will be responsible for the generation of this physical address, right? And now uh, we are going to use the code. So let's see how we are going to do it. So let's say I'm going to uh, first of all, feed these two informations, uh, uh, these two information, 0, 300 in DS and uh, uh, four times zeros in SI. So how, how I'm going to do it? We know that data segment register is not user accessible. We cannot feed any information in directly into data segment. We have already talked about it. If you have, if you are following my channel uh, or my content. So what you will do move AX comma. So I'm moving the value of data segment 0300 or 0300 hacks. So now value is stored in data sec AX register. And now I will move that value into data segment. So move uh, DS comma AX. So what is going to happen after the execution of this instruction? I mean, once I have executed this instruction, what is going to happen? Uh, let me write it for you so that uh, things will become more easier to understand. We are executing this code uh, side by side. So data segment would have become how much data segment would have become 0, 0300. Right. This is the uh, execution of these two lines. Uh, then what we will do, uh, we will execute. We will keep executing the code. Uh, uh, what will be our next step? We will uh, put the value of uh, four times zeros in SI or source index. So you can directly use SI as a user accessible or programmer accessible register. So move SI comma four nine zero hacks. So that means what is going to happen if I am going to execute it uh, on side by side basis. So SI would have become equals to uh, four times zero. And remember, since these two values uh, are now present in these register data segment register and source index register, so they are pointing to this memory address, right? Now, what I'm going to do, uh, remember the task of this tutorial is to move the data uh, from data segment or from the memory into the internal register. Let's say I want to move the value of this four five, this value four five, which is present inside the memory. So I want to move this value into some internal register and let's say that register is uh, CX, right? CX. So what, what is I'm interested in? I'm going to put this value in this CX register, right? So how I'm gonna do it or uh, what will be the procedure? So let's, uh, let's uh, code for this thing. So we have already uh, pointed that memory location. Now I'm going to use uh, addressing mode, which we have already talked about, a memory operand addressing mode. So move uh, CX, CX is our destination, and DS, sorry, SI. I can simply write SI because you know that when uh, once you are using this operand or uh, you are using a memory operand. So by default, your data segment is your, uh, uh, is your default segment from which uh, you are using your data, right? Or you're accessing data or if still, if you want to, uh, mention it, so you can mention it like that DS colon and in brackets in a square brackets, you have to mention the, uh, address or the uh, offset part of the address, which is stored in SI. So DS colon SI, remember the logic. Uh, the offset part is, is an SI and segment based part is, is in DS. So DS colon and in square bracket SI indicates that SI in, is holding the offset of the required source document or off, off source operand, right? So what is going to happen? Uh, this will serve as a source operand and this will serve as a destination operand. So what is going to happen from this physical memory Right. And what is this physical memory? This is the physical memory, right? Zero, 3000. So this value will be fetched, right? This value will be fetched and it will be get copied inside CX register. But one thing which is critical or which is uh, very, very important to know that. And I hope that you have already idea if you are following my tutorials that CX is a 16 bit register and this memory slot has a only eight bit value. So what is going to happen with CX, right? Uh, I'm going to show you CX in at backhand. It is basically composition of CH and CL, the higher byte of uh, CX register and the lower byte of CX register. 
so data will be going into the lower byte and the higher byte will remain 0 0 and data will coming up in here so the content of cx register after this uh, instruction will be 0045 hacks because only 8 bit information is coming from uh, the memory and uh, the upper portion of the register is basically still uh, empty or it don't have any information so that will be the content after the uh, execution of this instruction so this is how you will move uh, data from the data segment into the internal register i can use some 8 bit information as well for example i could easily write let me write uh, another instruction so that you understand it very well i could simply write move uh, dl right dl is only 8 bit register and simply ds colon si so what is going to happen since this time your dl is a uh, simply uh, what 8 bit register so we don't need to worry about higher bit and lower bit so what is going to happen after this execution of instruction dl would become four five hacks because uh, eight bit of information is going directly into eight bit register i hope you have got this uh, uh, point and uh, the query which which was posted on my channel is clear now still if you have any query or confusions regarding this concept you can post your queries in comment section uh, your comments are highly appreciated thank you so much for listening